Okay, let's see if we can talk about uh, line integrals. Suppose I have a Cartesian coordinate system here. And in this Cartesian coordinate system, this is Z, this is Y, and this is X. In this Cartesian system, let's suppose we have a vector field. So that means that at any point in this uh, at any point in this system, we have a vector, a little vector of some magnitude and some direction. So at each point in the in the in space, we have this vector pointing somewhere. It doesn't matter where. It is uh, going to give given going to give be given by a function, and this function is that f is the vector field is equal to a function which is equal to a vector that depends on x, y x, y and z so that, that means that at each point x, y and z x, y, z we have a vector pointing somewhere of some magnitude and some direction and this is given by p of x is given by a vector P of x, y, z, Q of x, y, and z, and R of x, y, and z. So this is a vector. The vector has three components. This is the i component, this is the j component, and this is the k component. So we let me just um, okay. So leave, leave it there. So P, Q, and z is the vector. And we want what we want to do is to calculate the line integral of x dot dr over a path C. So what does this mean? That means that if we have a path, a curve C here, on this path we want to calculate the line integral. That means that we want to calculate the vector here, f, at this point times a very small vector dr here and we want to take the dot products between the vector at this point f and dr dr is an infinitesimal vector along the curve c this is what this means so dr is a vector which has components dx dy and dz this is what dr represents and f f is the function given here so the meaning of this integral is the meaning of the integral f dot dr is exact over the path c is exactly the same as f dot dx dy dz over the path c and now if we rewrite f as in the component form then we have that f is equal to p, q, and r dotted with dx, dy, and dz and now if you remember how to take the dot product then this simply means this simply mean, means that this integral is, is the integral of p dx plus q dy plus r dz so that means again we have the coordinate system here we have a vector let me just write one line. so at this point we have the vector f and along the curve here we have dr this is dr there's an angle between these two which is what we'll call theta and the dot product is defined if you remember as the so f dot dr is equal to the magnitude of f times the magnitude of dr times the cosine of the angle between them but we do usually don't calculate it this way because it's hard to calculate the angle theta so we calculate it in this way by taking the dot products of each component of the vector field and each component of the infinitesimal vector dr now again what this means is that along this curve the vector for each point on this curve the vector is going to be the vector field is going to be point somewhere 
and we want to know what is the components of this vector in the direction the in the direction dr, what is the components of the of the vector f and this is given by the dot products of f with dr which gives you this component here this small components in the direction of dr and what the integral, the, the line integral means it means to take the dot product of every point of the, of the curve c and add up all these contributions all these contributions of f dot dr and do this along the curve from the point A to the point B and this is really what the line integral is and so let's uh, usually how you do this is you take the curve C and you write it in parametric form so you say that C is equal to x of t x of t of t y of t and z of t z of t and you say that t is from a to a point b so it's a finite so finite curve from a to b so this is point a and this is point b and you want to take the line integral along this curve from a to b so t goes from a to b and uh, each component of the of the curve x is a function of t so this being the case we also rewrite, remember that f is a function of p of x, y, and z and also q of x, y, and z and r of x, y, and z this is a vector so you rewrite x in terms of t y in terms of t and z in terms of t for p, q, and r so that means that your vector field f is now f is now a function of t so at each point x y and z we can write those coordinates in terms of t and that means that we can write f in terms of t so our integral becomes f dot dr will become equal to f of t dot dr and so now what do we do we write f okay let's rewrite f as p q and r of t dotted with dx dy dz which is equal to p dx plus q dy plus r dz and now the secret is because x is equal to x of t then that means that dx is equal to x prime of t times dt and so for this integral we can divide divide and multiply by dt on here and that's equal to p dx dt plus q dy dt plus r dz dt and always taken with respect to dt along the curve c now the curve c we rewrite it in terms of t so that becomes an integral from a to b and this is the line integral in the the final form that we can calculate uh, and so we calculate everything in terms of t and this can be solved let's suppose for example let's do an example if f the vector field f is given by let's say that the first component is a constant 1 the second component is a constant 1 again and the last component for example let's say is sine of x just to simplify and we are trying to calculate we are trying to calculate it along the let's say this is y this is x and this is z and we are trying to calculate the integral along the axis x from y along the axis y sorry from y equals 0 to a point y equals 1 So the way to write this in terms of 
uh, uh, in terms of t we know that x is equal to for this curve x is equal to 0 z is equal to 0 and y is equal to it will depend it will be equal to t for t in 0 1 so if we rewrite the integral so we get f dot tr along the path c is equal to the integral of 1 1 sine now because x is equal to 0 we get sine of 0 which is equal to 0 dot dx dy dz and this is equal to dx plus dy sine of 0 is 0 times dz, dz is equal to 0 and so that means along the path c so that means that we have the integral now dx dx is equal to dx dt times dt and dy is dy dt times dt and this is equal to now t goes from 0 to 1 now dx dt is simply equal to 0 in this case and dy dt is equal to 1 so you get 1 dt and this is simply equal to t you evaluate from 0 to 1 which is simply, simply equal to 1 so this is uh, one example of how to calculate the uh, line integral